Hello everyone, it is time to share my thoughts on Freaky. A lot of you already know that I am a huge fan of director Christopher Landon. I am a big, big believer that Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, deserves way more credit than it actually gets. And Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse is a pretty good time. But in particular, it's what he's done with the two Happy Death Day movies that really does show off a, a next level handle on his craft and what he's capable of doing in these genre mashup movies. As for Freaky, just like Happy Death Day put a horror spin on the time loop concept, Freaky does that same thing with the body swap scenario. In the movie, Catherine Newton's character is Millie. She's a high school student who is just trying to steer clear of the bullies and the popular crowd. One night, she winds up being the next target of a local serial killer known as The Butcher, who's played by Vince Vaughn. The thing is, though, when the Butcher stabs Millie, he doesn't kill her. Instead, the ancient dagger that he uses causes them to swap bodies. So now, the Butcher can just run around killing as he pleases as Millie, while raising no suspicion, while Millie has to figure out a way to get her body back before their swap winds up being permanent. You guys know how I feel about slasher movies. It's my favorite subgenre of horror, and I really do love finding new ways to to explore those concepts, like, let's say, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. That one was just a big, big winner for me in that particular department. Freaky is too, but I just can't say it digs that deep or gets as clever. Where Freaky excels, though, is just being a wild and sometimes weird ride that's absolutely brimming with color and energy and also boasts some really great performances. In a sense, yes, Freaky is leaning very heavily on the shtick of Vince Vaughn and Catherine Newton swapping bodies, but the thing is, I didn't find that it ever really got old, and I think that has a lot to do with their performances in those roles. And again, this is mostly an enjoyable surface level ride here, but there is an attempt at least to touch on Millie finding a, a newfound strength in herself while stuck in the butcher's body. And I thought Vince Vaughn made that come through just well enough in his performance. And as for Newton, she is just so much fun to watch playing a serial killer. I feel like this might be one of the first times I've seen her go to such an extreme with a role, just leaning really heavily into the campy nature of the film, and she's good at it. I kind of hope this paves the way to what I might describe as bolder and more eccentric opportunities for characters that she plays in the future. But I did already have a sense of what Newton and Vaughn were capable of, so I would say the two performances here that excited me the most were the ones that we get from Celeste O'Connor and Misha Osharovich. They play Millie's best friends, Nyla and Joshua, and both of them just ooze charisma and really contribute to the energy of this film. I just get really excited when a movie introduces me to someone new or someone that I'm less familiar with. And when I look at the collaborations between Christopher Landon and casting director Terry Taylor, they keep doing that time and time again, and I can't get enough of it. As for the kill set pieces featured in Freaky, I think they're all pretty solid. I wouldn't say that there's anything so hugely creative or game-changing, but they do all play well and also appropriately lean into the horror comedy of it all. I'm gonna go ahead and give Freaky three and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. It's another real clever concept for Landon to just run with, and he delivers a good time mashing up the genres again. But it does feel like Freaky missed some opportunities to maybe dig deeper into the pillars of a slasher movie and maybe in the process say something about them. And also, while I don't want to really dip too much into comparing and contrasting here, it is kind of hard not to notice that Millie's personal journey in this movie feels a little light after having experienced the weight of what Tree's arc is in the Happy Death Day movie. So there you guys go. That is where I stand on Freaky. If and when you check out the movie, do tell me your own thoughts in the comment section below. I love reading them. Before I leave you, Patreon shout out time. We got a great group of five right here. Let's give a shout out to Neil, Kavi, James, Carol, 
and Wessel. You guys have heard this spiel over and over because you are longtime contributors, but really, thank you so much. Your support makes all the difference, and it is so deeply appreciated, so thank you. And another big thank you to everybody out there watching this review. Please don't leave without liking and sharing it, and stay tuned. Got more of them coming your way real soon. Mm -hmm.